Hiya, sweetheart. Hey, what are you doing in this miserable gully, Johnny Malo? I love you, Johnny. I've been looking for you in every ditch from Fresno to here, hoping you was dead. Chino's giving him the needle, and your boyfriend don't go for that. Uh, <laughs> You've been having yourself a time, huh, Johnny? You know, you do look pale. You been taking care of yourself? You been staying out too late at night. <laughs> That's mine, Chino. Take it off. Don't do that. That's better, Johnny. You know, I miss you. Ever since the club split up, I missed you. We all missed you. Did you miss them? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. The Beatles missed you. All the Beatles missed you. Come on, Johnny. Let's you and me go inside and have a beer, and I'll be delivering Christmas out of you. Johnny, for old times. Oh, don't take that away from Chino. It's so beautiful. Chino needs it. Makes Chino feel like a big, strong man. Yeah, Chino wants to be a big racetrack here with all these girls. Power! Look, I didn't win it, Johnny. I just gleeped it. But I gleeped it off a guy that didn't win it either. Look, Johnny, you want one? How about you go gleep one someplace for yourself, huh? Wait a minute. All right, this is the main event. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this lovely young lady over here, she'll hold this beautiful object, signifying absolutely nothing. Now, watch closely. See how the timid maiden of the hill clutches the gold to her breast. And see how she fights back a tear while a hero bleeds to death in the street. About. I don't know. Don't know themselves, probably. Let's stop this. I've seen hoodlums like this before. If you don't get chocolate in the minute they get out of line, you're sunk. You are the cop, aren't you? If you can't boot these jerks out, there's plenty of us can't even have to bust a few heads. That won't help matters. Oh, now, take it easy, Charlie. Take it easy. Nothing but talk, talk. Let's we'll see if everything's all right at home. Break it up! Break it up! 
Hey, Chief, 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 come here. Did you see what this guy tried to do? He tried to run Meatball over. Nobody ran anybody over. He ran his motorcycle in the front of my car. Yeah? And then I suppose a sick will crawl right under your front wheel all by his little old self. Hey, I want this man arrested. He wants me arrested. You guys hear that? <laughs> <laughs> he hit me. Well, hit me back, you coward. Go on. Hey, all right, all right. Come on, what are you going to do? All right, quiet. 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 No. Uh, quiet. I'm going to take you both down and lock you up. Both what? of us? Yes, He's so we guy. can all talk without everybody yelling. This yeah, man came over to my car. Whether I hold anybody or not depends on just how badly this boy here is hurt. See, I'm with the chief. I'm glad you stopped by for me. I've been wanting to talk to you. Yeah, sure, kid. Where to? Uh, you just go to River Street, and I'll tell you where to stop. I thought we was going to the garden. Yeah, we are, but uh, I want to cover a bed on the way over. Besides, this will give us a chance to talk. Well, nobody ever stopped you from talking, Charlie. Uh, listen, I, uh, the the grapevine says that you got you got a subpoena. Yeah. I mean, you know, the guys would know you well enough to know that you're not a cheese eater, but they think maybe you should uh, not be on the outside so much, a little on the inside, have a few little things working for you down at the docks. A steady job, a couple extra potatoes. That's all I want. Oh, sure, that's great when you're a kid, but. You're getting on, you're pushing 30, Sluggy. You know, it's time to, to think about getting some ambition. Well, I always figured I'd live a little bit longer without it. Maybe. Look. There's a, a boss loader slot that's open on the new pier we're opening up. You see, now, it pays six cents on every hundred pounds that goes in and every hundred pounds that goes out, and you don't have to lift a finger. That's two, three, four hundred dollars a week. Four hundred dollars a week, just for the opening. I get all that dough for not doing nothing. You don't do anything, and you don't say anything. You understand? There's more to this than I thought, Charlie. I'm telling you, there's a lot more. You don't mean that you're thinking of testifying against some people that we might know? I don't know, Charlie. I mean, I'm telling you, I don't know, Charlie. That's what I want to talk to you about. Oh, listen, Terry, you know how much those peers are worth that we control through the local? I know that. All right, do you think that Johnny's going to jeopardize the whole setup for one rubber lipped ex tanker don't who's say walking that. on his heels? What the? Better. That's not the point. I could have been a lot better, Charlie. The Charles. point is, we don't have much time. I'm telling you, I haven't made up my mind well, yet. Well, make up your mind before we get to 437 River Street. Before we get to where, Charlie? Before we get to Listen where... Listen to me, Terry. Take the job. Just take it. No but questions. I... Take it. Take this job, please. Charlie. Please take it. Charlie. Oh, Charlie. How much you weigh, Slim? When you weighed 168 pounds, you were beautiful. You could have been another Billy Khan. That skunk we got you for the manager, he brought you along too fast. It wasn't him, Charlie, it was you. Remember that night in the garden, you came down my dressing room and said, Kid, this ain't your night. We're going for the price on Wilson. You remember that? This ain't your night. My night, I could have taken Wilson apart. So what happens? He gets the title shot outdoors in a ballpark, and what do I get? A one-way ticket to Palookaville. You was my brother, Charlie. You should have looked out for me a little bit. You should have taken care of me just a little bit so I wouldn't have to take them dives for the short-end money. Well, I had some bets down for you. You saw some money. You don't understand. I could have had class. 
I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Instead of a bum, which is what I am. Let's face it. It was you, child. Okay. Okay. I tell him I couldn't find you. Ten to one, he won't believe me. Here. You take this. You're gonna need it. Yo, you pull over. Would you fix this uh, corset? You don't look up like that. Mmm, that's beauty. I like it dyed like that. It's not dyed. It's new. It cost a dollar to shorten and maybe a thousand to buy. Val sent it. Val sent you that dress? For his birthday party. Nice of him. Turn around, honey. Did I send you that? Mm-hmm. What's the matter? Nothing. I just wish I had a thousand dollars to buy you a dress like that. Well, Wes called her. I want to see you. Well, I want to see you. Somebody out here to see you. Hello, Evan. You and Ruby? Hi, Ed. Going out to Rogers for dinner? Yes. Well, we're not invited. Never are. I wonder why. Oh, you mean you wonder why he invites poor people like us? Well, maybe that's because we are so beautiful, so charming, so witty. What do you want, Ed? Is there any news about Bubba? No. Well, you think he's heading for here? What's the matter with you all? Can't you think of some way to get yourself excited on a Saturday night besides all that? Well, my wife's frightened. She wants a deputy sent to our house. What the hell's the matter with you, Adam? Well, when I was 16 years, Bubba was too, you know. Yeah. And that was the year Bubba was sent to reform school. The first time, I mean. Listen, now, we're running real late tonight, Mouse. Look, I'm coming to it. Uh, we both worked in the grocery store and uh, $50 was missing. And old Sunshine was sheriff then and he uh, blamed it on Bubba. So to keep him out of reform school, his mother marched me in there on a Saturday, a store full of customers. And made him give that money back and say out loud he was sorry he stole. And a bunch of boys began to yell things at him to tease him. And you hate to be different than anybody else, so I began teasing him too, and he grabbed the butcher knife off the meat oh, counter. Come on now, Ed, wouldn't listen. Please listen to me. He never stole that fifty dollars. I did. Oh, well, that's nice going. I was scared to say so then. But a few years later, I went to the sheriff, old Sunshine. And he told me not to worry. Yeah. Well, if it makes you feel any better to come on here and tell me all this, and uh, you did it, and I don't particularly like it. Now it's time going home, Edwin. We'll see you some other time. Well, I don't like it either. Well, a lot of years go by. And all right, here it is. Night before Bubba goes to jail this last time, Somebody tells him a story. And he acted mighty mean when he heard it. Well, my wife is there and saw him, and she's frightened he's coming around for revenge. You tell your wife to forget about it, because this is the last place in the world that Bubba's gonna come to. 
Well, if Val Rogers asked for a deputy, you'd send one fast enough. What do you mean by that? You mean that there's something I'd do for Val Rogers that I wouldn't do for you? Huh? Well, good night. Good night, Ruby. Come on back here, Edward. late. So what? You scared of being late to Val Rogers' party? No. Well, take off that dress, Ruby, and put on the old one. The one that I paid for. All right. And wrap that one up and give it back to him. You didn't have to tell me that. Which side are you with? Me, I'm with me. Harry. Hey, you got a dime? Dime for a cup of coffee? Ah, beat it, will ya? This is a little dime you don't need. Hey, I know you. You really doyle. Come on, beat it. My brother was a saint. He's the only one who ever tried to give me a compensation. Oh, what are you doing? Get out of here, will ya? You remember Terry? He was there that Get night. Get out of here. Get out of here. Here's, here's some change. Go have yourself a ball. You don't buy me. You're still a bum. So long, Edie. Lord have mercy on Joey. Who's calling me a bum? Everybody loved Joey. The little kids to the old rummy. Did you know him very well? Well, you know, he got around. What did that man mean just oh, now? Oh, don't pay no attention to him. He's drunk, he's falling down, everything. He's just a Jew set that hangs around the neighborhood. Don't pay no attention. I'd better go now. And you don't have to be afraid of me. I'm not gonna bite yet. I guess they don't let you walk with fellas where you've been, huh? You know how the sisters are. Yeah. Are you training to be a nun? It's just a... Uh... Regular college. Where is it? It's run by the, the Sisters of St. Anne. Where is that? It's in Terrytown. Where's that? Up? Where's that? It's the country. I don't like the country. The crickets make me nervous. So how often do you get in here? Get well, I haven't been here since last Christmas. We were going to have a Thanksgiving party. What do you do up there? Just, what, study? You want to be a teacher. Teacher? That's very good, you know. I, personally, I admire brains. My brother Charlie is a very brainy guy. He had a couple of years of college. It isn't just brains. It's, it's how you use them. Well, I, yeah, I get your thought. You know, I've seen you a lot of times before. Remember uh, parochial school out of Paluski Street? Seven, eight years ago, you have... Had your hair, uh... Braid. Looked like a hunk of rope. You had wires on your teeth and glasses and everything. It was really a mess. I can get home all right now, thanks. Hey, listen, don't get sore. I'm just kidding you a little bit. I just mean to tell you that you grew up very nice. Thanks. You don't, you don't remember me, do you? Remember you the first moment I saw you? Quite a nose, huh? <laughs> well, some people just got faces that stick in your mind. I remember you were in trouble all the time. Now you got me. Boy, the way those sisters used to whack me, I don't know what. They thought they was going to beat an education into me, but I fucked them. Maybe they just didn't know how to handle you. How would you have done it? With a little more 
patience and kindness. That's what makes people mean and difficult. People don't care enough about them. Ah, oh, what are you kidding me? Come on, I better get you home. There's too many guys around here with only one thing in their mind. Am I gonna see you again? What for? all that damn firing and why? Is that you, Damon? Hell yes, I'm firing. We caught him in Anna's room. Sheriff, I ain't done nothing. I, I, I was going to leave a mess. I was just stopping by to say hello. He was just stopping by to say hello to a white woman. Hello, Pappy. Hello, Grandpappy. You turned over in your nice graves? Where are you from, boy? Up north? I was born right here. And you all know that. Come on, Lester. Come on. Put your damn gun up. Well, Lester, didn't you have a little trouble a long time ago with Bubba Reeves? Bubba Reeves? Are you tied up with Bubba Reeves? Come on now, Damon. Huh? Get in the car, Lester. Gone. Hey, 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 officer. No physical. Get in the car. You boys going home now. You really love his kind, don't you? Come on, Calder. Now let us talk to him a little while. I bet we could get some news about Bubba out of him. Why don't you go on home and open another bottle and get back in bed with your friend's wife? Yeah, well, you go on back to Val Rogers' dinner party and you tuck him in bed and kiss his hand or something! Well, you're a real lucky fellow, Johnson. Real fortunate fellow. Where's Bubba? I don't know. Where's Bubba Johnson? I don't know. What were you gonna, what message were you gonna leave Anna? There was no message, it was nothing. I just come on by to say hello now. If you just stop here, please, I'll get out and go on home. Well, I'm gonna have to lock you up anyway. For what? I've done nothing, Chef. You, you've got no right to do that. You can't lock a man up for... Well, not tell me what I want to know. That's right, but... I'll get your lawyer on Monday and tell me all about that. I'm sorry to have to do it, Johnson, but it's for your own protection. Strabler. You got any friends, Johnny? You picked up a few around here last night, strange as it seems. A couple anyway. They got you off the hook for a while. I don't get you. I don't get your act at all, and I don't think you do either. I don't think you know what you're trying to do or how to go about it. I think you're stupid. Real stupid. And real lucky. Last night, you scraped by. Just barely. But a man's dead on account of something you let get started even though you didn't start it. I don't know if there's any good in you. I don't know if there's anything in you. But I'm going to take a big, fat chance and let you go. There'll be a hearing on this Tyron business. You'll get a summons. And you'd better show up. Put him on the road. Uh, is 
that yours? Yeah. Go ahead. Don't you want to say anything to these people? What's the matter? You've been hit over the head so often you don't know when you're getting a break? You could at least say thank you. It's all right. He doesn't know how. Okay, hot shots, the fun is over. Every one of you monkeys is down in my book, and every stick of damage around here will be paid for. You've got ten minutes to clear out. Just stick your nose back in this county, any of you, and you'll never see daylight again as long as you live. Now get. <laughs> <laughs> 